23 days, everybody. Luna, say hi. Here we go. That's Vlogmas day two, we're going to look at the new apartment. Woohoo! literally across the street. We have to be there in five minutes. I'm also hoping he's just gonna let us go in and not watch us. My hair looks horrible, but I tried this hairstyle that somebody was wearing on TikTok and it failed. What, do you not like it? The lighting in here is so fucking bad. I can't wait to see this place. I'm gonna turn on all the lights I in this place and be like, Ooh. wait to see it. Ah. No, we don't even need lights. That, those doors, window, whatever, over there, those are the only, that's the only source of natural light We've in this place. We've been living in darkness for a year. It's horrible. Um, all I got was like b-roll footage I guess you'd call it um, because our property manager was in there with us and I was very uncomfortable to record anything I have FaceTime my mom I got clips on my phone and I got a clip of like our two office spaces and then obviously when I actually move in there will be a better tour but it was so amazing we've been anticipating going and being able to look at it for so long and they sent me floor plans of like what it was supposed to look like and all this sort of stuff when like I decided to move into that one. He was like, no, that's the exact floor plan, but some, like I would literally walk around the building every day and be like, that might not make sense with the floor plan they sent because this and then whatever. It was so much better than I even could have thought. There are so many windows. It's incredible. Three sides. Huh? On three sides. On three sides, there's windows and <laughs> I don't know why this is like one of the most exciting parts for me. The washer dryer, are you t the utilities in this unit right now are currently like out the door and they have their own little door out in the hallway. But in this unit, they have their own closet in the unit, but it's also where the washer dryer is and it's a huge closet. I mean, granted most of it's taken up by utility stuff, but there is even space for me to put like the vacuum, the Swiffer, like all of that sort of stuff. It's incredible, <laughs> I'm so excited because if you saw, the laundry room in the bedroom right now, it is, it is, there's no space and I've somehow still filled the space where there's no space. There's not an island like the one in here, which is a kind of a bummer. I really like this like solo island, but the way that it is in the new unit is that it's like, I mean, I think I got it on video. It's like curved. There's like a curved side to it where the sink is and stuff. We also have a dining table that is currently being stored at my parents' house. Oh! Hold on, Vlogmas. 23 days, everybody. A little excited. Um, I wonder if people saw this in the TikTok that I posted yesterday and they were like, oh my God, what the hell is that? It's Moira Rose, don't worry. I'm obsessed. Yeah, I bought this at Paper Source last year for literally $25. Worth every penny, I must say. Looney, are you so excited? She didn't get to come and look at it with us. <laughs> but I know she's gonna be so happy there. It's currently only 9.45. Should I go to Trader Joe's before my 11 o'clock meeting? Technically, I took today off, like mental, for like a mental health day, but I do have one meeting at 11 o'clock and it's totally fine because it's not gonna be that long. I'm just gonna sit at my desk for a little while, wait for that meeting, do some fun stuff because I am taking the day off. Very hard to do that when you're self-employed. Like, what is a day off? It feels so wrong for me to just like sit on the couch and watch TV in the middle of the day. It just feels wrong, like I'm doing something illegal. If I just held the camera like this, you wouldn't even be able to tell where I was because it's such a blank wall. Sitting at my desk, there's the, now you can tell there's the couch. I'm dreaming about my new office, TBH. Looney and I just got back from the park. Luna, say hi. We're very lucky because literally like, I think it was a week, maybe, after we got her, the complex put in a dog park, which they hadn't had yet, and there are so many dogs in these buildings. So it was really, really nice and perfect timing for us that they put that park in 
right when we needed it. So she loves to go in there and play and socialize with all the other dogs. We were in there for like, like almost 40 minutes, I think, like quite a while, because a few other dogs came by. I made friends with one of my neighbors who I just found out is also a designer, which is really cool. Um, yeah, so it's 10, what time is it? Is it 10.45 or did that say 10? I have a meeting in three minutes. I thought I had more time than that, so I'm gonna do that now catch up with you after. I made it to Trader Joe's to get some groceries and uh, we don't need much. I'm only getting the basics, but I also just wanted to get out of the house for a minute. So I'm doing my Trader Joe's run through really fast and then I'm also gonna do a quick Target pickup order. That doesn't require me getting out of my car though. So I'm just gonna run in here. I don't know if I'm gonna be too shy to vlog anything in there, probably, but uh, I'll do a haul when I get home. I am a real dummy, let me tell you. I got in the car today when I was on my way here. I made sure that my Trader Joe's reusable bags, you know the ones, were in the car. They were. You can guess where this story's going. I forgot to bring them inside and had to get paper bags and I am really mad at myself for it. I didn't realize it until it was much too late, like as I was waiting in line. And then I told the lady, I was like, I left my bags in the car, like hoping she'd be like, oh, um, I'll start ringing you out, you can go get them. But she was like, that's okay, we have bags in here. I'm like, yep, yeah. I know, I know you do. We'll haul these groceries when I get home. It's so funny because as I become a real full-fledged adult, like my prefrontal cortex is now fully developed at the age of 25, although I'm pretty sure it's actually 26. But let's just go with it and say, yeah, it's developed fully because I'm 25 now. That the things I used to love watching on YouTube, which by the way, I'm gonna do a deep dive in very soon, the old YouTube, but I used to like watching makeup hauls and like clothing and this and that, like obvious stuff like that. And now I'm like, give me a grocery haul. I wanna know what you're buying for food and how you plan on making it so that I can do the same. It never used to be this way. It's so weird. I don't know if this is about to be like the dumbest question I've ever asked in my life. There's a good chance. Oh my God, remember when I used to vlog like this? I'm at a stoplight right now, turning left, and there were people on the other side. It was red for everybody. The other, obviously, the way is going this way in front of us, they had the green light. And the people in front of me on the other side of the street, there were people who were in that left turn lane before I got there. And I was like, oh my God, if I don't make it there, then the light's not gonna know that I'm here and then I'm not gonna get the left arrow which happened. Everybody on the other side got the left arrow and they also got the green arrow to go straight because I didn't get my left arrow because I was the only one here. How does the light know? <laughs> How does it know when nobody's there? Are there sensors around that I just don't know exist? Like I used to think when I was a kid that there were cameras and somebody was in a control room somewhere literally like turning the lights depending on who was there and stuff. This is possibly, again, the dumbest thing I could have asked. Now I have the green arrow. But I just don't know how it works and I'm a little curious because it ha every, like almost every time I'm driving, I wonder. It's been like just over an hour, I think, since I last even vlogged and I'm still not home because I decided to, on my way home, the clip of me still in the car and at the stoplight, I was on my way to actually pick up dessert for Dustin and I to have tonight since he's cooking a really nice dinner. Um, I got us some dessert as a surprise for him um, so that we can like have dessert and watch a movie or something on the couch later on. That'd be really fun. I did that and when I went to pick it up, I was like, hey, I could get some of this for my family who lives way out of the way, but I could bring it to them as a surprise so they can have dessert tonight too. So I did that. That's why I'm still not home. My groceries are just <laughs> sitting in the car and it's really cold out today, so I think they're fine. But I'm also keep getting very insecure that I didn't put any makeup on today, except for my eyebrows, because this situation is not cute. And this is a scar now, so. Still going with it, still doing my best. We're doing what we can, so it is what it is. I'm home from Trader Joe's. Let's do that haul, I promised. Chopped romaine, two avocados, some diced onions, teeny tiny potatoes, it literally says teeny tiny potatoes. Um, Dustin wanted to try some bone broth. Two bags of broccoli, because I eat 
tons of broccoli with some steamed lentils also for dustin some stuffed peppers i've tried these they're actually really really good six of my spicy miso ramen soup because this is my favorite and then i got some of this pre-cooked pre-grilled chicken breast because i love the starbucks egg bites these are just the cheddar and bacon ones oh yep that's it changed into a very super comfy robe that doesn't got me for my birthday it's a ralph lauren robe literally the comfiest thing in the world and i hate every time i take it off <laughs> somebody's gonna do a takeover and show you what he's cooking take it away my friend all right here's the dusty takeover i should have done this beforehand but these are my dusty meatballs i should have showed you as i was making them some french fries in the air for her. it's made out of super lean ground turkey there is thyme oh, seasoning nice. italian seasoning basil sauce tomato oh, basil a shit ton of breadcrumbs uh spinach an egg a diced up shallot this is kind of a new mix so we'll see what happens with it but they normally come out pretty good and then to top them off i drizzle a little bit of oil on the top before they go into the oven and then dump more breadcrumbs on the top so kind of cheating but so they'll good. taste and okay cheese. what kind of cheese did you put in oh shit the cheese don't put cheese in Fuck. i knew okay. i was forgetting something it's okay and guess who doesn't want to eat any of the dessert that I bought? Anyway. Dustin asked me not to get too many sugary sweets, so I bought two slices of cake. When did you ask me not to two get any sugary sweets? Two monstrous slices of cake. They're not even regular slices. Do you, you want to see them? You guys don't even know. The toffee cake, like literally the cake is like toffee. And then there's Heath Bar bits in it. And it's layered with really good whipped cream. Oh, this is my favorite cake in the entire world. I want to find a recipe for it online and make it because I think that would be really fun. Thanks for watching and subscribe because we're gonna go as long as we can. I might end up turning this into 12 days of Vlogmas instead of 24 or 25. See you tomorrow. Bye. Say bye. Bye. Say bye, Loon. <laughs>